chic and timeless outfits, shop with me try on for spring 2022. My boys headed off to watch the football in Leeds, so naturally I headed to the shops and I thought you might enjoy coming along with me. So let me show you what I found. Often when I do a shop with me try on video, I have at least a bit of a plan of where I'm going to head and what sort of things I want to find and try on. But this particular day, I literally just had a bit of a mooch and I tried on everything that caught my eye. Some items were within budget, others were incredibly out of budget, but I tried them on anyway. On the more high end of the high street scale, I headed to Reese first. Now I hadn't had a chance to take a look at their new collection for spring 2022. So I was really excited to see what was in store. And honestly, they didn't disappoint. I would say it is their best collection I've seen for many years. This first dress was actually in the shop window and it was what caught my eye originally. That rust color is just absolutely stunning. So this has been made from viscose and it has that lovely drape that feels like it just skims over you in all the right places. You have this deep V at the front and a much appreciated hidden button to hold that open collar in place. The top section is very much a relaxed shirt dress vibe, really timeless, and then cinched in at the waist with that belt and those tiny pin tucks at the waist making it fall beautifully over your hips. I shall link everything I found in the description box below, but just quickly to say that I've double checked and they will ship worldwide. Oh, <laughs> what wow. They will ship worldwide, which is great news. And as an added bonus, this dress, like many of Reese, is also available for petites, which I know lots of you will be really chuffed about. It was really hard to capture the true colors on this particular dress with the lighting in store. But this image here is very much what it looked like in real life. A hugely chic and timeless color clash of muted pink and tomato red made into one very feminine mini dress. Now it's been made from viscose again, though the top portion actually felt lighter than the bottom, almost like a chiffon, but not see-through, which I thought was great. I love the shape of those sleeves, the tie again at the waistband, allowing you to really define your waist, and then that contrast skirt portion, giving it that extra special something that we're often looking for. Reese has actually been my go-to for those special occasion dresses since I was about 17, and they've thankfully never diluted their quality over the years. They always go that extra mile. I firmly believe we should never judge a book by its cover, and that saying really rang true for me with this next outfit idea. I knew I wanted to try this incredibly chic skirt, I absolutely love it, but I wasn't intending on ever going near a crop top. However, after a bit of a gentle push from the shop assistant, I decided to give it a try, and honestly, I felt so nice in this set, I didn't want to take it off. Now, obviously, you need to look past the fact that the skirt is too long, as that's an easy fix with a good tailor, but how stunning is that cut? I just fell in love with it. It's it sits high on the waist with those ties to cinch it in as much as you need and it just creates this very chic, timeless, beautiful hourglass shape. Made from a blend of cotton and sustainable lyocell, the fabric felt really fresh and cool against my skin and if I couldn't have loved it even more, I then found pockets in the skirt. Happy days all round. The crop top really wasn't what I would call a crop top in a traditional sense. Because the skirt is so high-waisted and then the top comes down quite far down my ribs, there's only this very tiny slither of skin, which is absolutely fine by me. No side bulges having a chance to get through. Now they've got another variation of this top online too actually, or you could just really dress this skirt down with maybe a simple vest top. If you do love this set as much as me, I would recommend sizing down in both as they generally came up a little bigger. But honestly, the only things I'm actually debating with this set would be which shade to go for and how much to take it up. Do let me know what you think in the comment section below. It would be really good to hear everyone's different opinions. Along with Reese's dresses, they're well known for their incredibly chic and high quality blazers. So it would have been rude not to try at least one on. So I went for this double breasted twill blazer in white ever one for practicality. But actually just styled like this with my jeans and a vest top I was wearing would be my favorite way to wear it. Elevating a casual look to being something more polished and obviously doing it with a piece that, although an investment piece I know, I would have in my wardrobe forever. 
Luckily, reefs have gone very linen-tastic for this spring 2022, which is very good news in my book. Sorry, Sparkles has come in the room. <laughs> so next I chose this beautiful puff sleeve dress to try on. Last summer we saw lots of these style of dresses about, and a bit like ballet flats, I don't think this is a trend that we will see go away for a good few years yet. I love the fit across the chest, the three quarters length sleeves, and that gather in and that full skirt portion, making it feel like the perfect everyday spring summer dress. Taking a look at their other pieces in linen this season, and I could see how dangerous it could be for my bank balance. I love this, 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 and this, and there is definitely more that I could add. Then I had a quick look in COS and tried on a couple of trench coats and a swimsuit actually that I'd spotted recently online. Now this is the short version of the trench in beige, made from 98% cotton, but in actual fact I think I actually prefer the classic longer option instead. It's only marginally more expensive and yet I think it's far more timeless and will have much more longevity in your wardrobe. It's classic in tone and shape and although I did size up to a UK 12 for this fit, you could of course go true to size. I've got another option on the trench coat a little bit later in this video too. And then I very quickly tried on one of their swimsuits as the fabric really reminded me of that favorite tube dress that I've got in my wardrobe from COS. Love that rib detailing. Next, I headed to Harvey Nichols, a treat for me whenever I'm in London or Leeds as I don't actually have one local to me. One brand I always associate with being incredibly chic and timeless would be Max Mara and the slightly more affordable offshoot Weekend Max Mara. I still kick myself for not buying this amazing dress that I found a few years ago. So if anyone ever spots that on a, I don't know, it's a secondhand website, please do let me know because I would love to buy it. So firstly, it was one classic pair of trousers that I tried on first in this really soft shade of camel. I went true to size and tried on a UK 10 and I love the fit. They're not skin tight, they're just comfortable. Just my cup of tea. I then styled them with this lovely crew neck stripe top. This is actually made from a fine knitted linen yarn, which I absolutely love. Yes, it's a tiny bit see-through if that sort of thing bothers you, but it'd be very easy to add a cami underneath so you don't show anything. But it's such a breathable yarn and just an original take on that classic Breton top. One item that sadly didn't look quite as chic and timeless as I'd have hoped would be this dress that I found from Zimmerman. Now, before I show you it on, I will say that if I had the money, I could happily spend a small fortune on Zimmerman. Their dresses are incredibly feminine and timeless, but they always have that updated edge to them. And the quality of their pieces is simply stunning. However, sometimes items just don't work, no matter how much we want them to. I think I look like one of those toilet roll dolls that my granny used to have back in the 80s. Does anyone remember them? I wish she would always have one and it was kind of like a knitted doll. Do you remember that, David? Uh, anyhow, I thought it was such a shame because for someone who rarely wears print, I really love this one. Those delicate frills are just so beautifully made. And even down to that string tie with the little seashells on the end, I mean, the quality was just gorgeous. But you know, sadly, it looked pretty awful on me, as I think you will probably agree when you look at this footage. I actually think this shape would probably work better on someone very straight up and down. I actually don't think that my curves are helping. So yes, not the best option on me, sadly, but good news for my bank balance. So after that little experience, I then played it very safe in the shop with me with a sweater that I'd had my eye on for a little while and I was interested to check out the fit. This muted yellow Houston logo jumper by Isabel Moron. I'm wearing the medium here and that's probably the size I would go for. I think any smaller than that and you'd lose the comfort factor. I know it's a little bit pricey for a sweatshirt and to some extent you are obviously paying for the name, but I love just about everything that Isabel Moron creates and the quality is gorgeous. So a big tick on that piece from me. I haven't seen any American vintage pieces for a while, so it was really nice to spot them in store and I picked up this V-neck jumper in that gorgeous powder pink tone. There's something about that shade, a bit like yellow actually, that I just can't seem to resist. 
Size-wise, again, I opted to try on the medium, knowing I'd want a little slouch. So I'd suggest sizing up two if you like this. And I'd probably keep my styling very simple with something like this. Pairing it with jeans and maybe even a denim jacket, making that pink tone pop even more. I didn't realize free people were stocked in Harvey Nichols, so it was a nice surprise to have a little browse through their new collection for spring. I love this trench coat, this lace trimmed blouse, and this is a really romantic one too. But in the end, I decided to try this spring knit that I found in a crew, as I thought that texture was just a little something different. Available in both this tone that I tried and a great pop of mint, and made from an open knit using 100% cotton. I'm wearing the medium here, as I wanted to have the option to let it fall off my shoulder in a very relaxed fashion. I think it's safe to say I've developed a newfound love of suits. Yes, that chic soft tailoring is one of the big fashion trends for spring 2022, but there's no denying that they're hugely timeless too. So I've been on the hunt for more variations to add into my wardrobe and specifically keeping my eye out for separates that could easily be mixed and matched with the other items that I have in my wardrobe. And so I found this gorgeous option by Joseph. Joseph have been known for their chic tailoring for many, many years, and they've never lost that sophisticated edge they've got to their collections. The nice thing about this particular suit would be that very tiny element of stretch, making them slide off my shape even nicer. It's an investment set, of course, but I truly believe you would never need another accru suit after this. The White Company always deserves a little peek, and I found this lovely knitted vest that I thought would be perfect for summer. I'm wearing a UK 12 here, so I would recommend sizing up if you equally like that relaxed fit. Even just paired with jeans, I thought would look really nice. Sadly, however, I should have gone true to size with those linen trousers, as they're just a little bit too oversized, even for my liking. Yes, they are a touch see-through, but not terribly so, and the quality of that linen is really lovely. Then I layered this gorgeous V-neck jumper over the vest. I'm wearing a large here, and the fit is just how I like it. Made from a blend of cotton with a sprinkle of cashmere, and with that horizontal rib, it would literally go with everything for spring. I've styled it here with a new in maxi skirt made from the sustainable fabric Icovero, and it has a really lovely movement and drape to it. It's also available in a grey printed option too. And last, but definitely not least, at the White Company, I found another option for anyone searching for that perfect trench coat this season. Now it's lighter than the COS version, but similar in price. This one has been made from a blend of lyocell and cotton. Definitely one of my wardrobe staples for spring, and it's really nice to find a sustainable option on the high street. Hopefully you all agree today's shop with me did exactly what it said on the tin. Lots of chic and timeless outfits getting us all in the mood for spring. Don't forget to let me know your favorite look in the comments section below. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be really lovely too. Thank you so much for joining me today and hopefully you'll join me back here on Sunday for lots more outfit ideas and fashion advice. Hope to see you then. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me include that. <laughs>